When I was scaling one of my biggest e-commerce brands, I tried selling a saturated product just to try things out, see if there was any scope with Google Ads when it came to saturated products. And the results I got were absolutely insane. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I am a big believer in taking a non-standard approach running e-commerce brands with Google Ads towards selling products with Google Ads because I always believe that being unique is the way to go in 2022, 2023 and onwards, especially with Google Ads because I mean, if you just go out copying people, if you just find winning products after somebody else has found a winning product, it's just like you basically chasing winning products. So that's really not a real way to build a long-term and sustainable business, just in my opinion alone. So that's why I was somewhat hesitant to even give this try a go, but I kind of just went for it just to see what the results would be like. And again, the results were way, way different than what I was originally expecting. Now, the product I'm referring to is this specific product right here. As you can see, there's a lot of information on the screen, which might be blurred out for you for obvious reasons, just to hide my own e-commerce brand. But it is this little dog barking deterrent product. So the main goal of this product is to essentially stop your dog from barking too much. I mean, if you have a pesky little husky, and by the way, I love huskies, but with huskies, we all know how they love to argue with their owners and just about any other breed. It doesn't really matter what breed it is. What happens is this dog barking deterrent stops them right in their tracks, prevents them from continuing their barking episodes. And again, the reason why I say this is saturated is just doing a quick search on Google for this product. So if you just type on Google anti-dog barking deterrent or just anti-dog barking device or anything like that, you will see that there's a bunch of different e-commerce brands pretty much selling the same exact thing. And by the way, now when I'm recording this video, there's a lot more competitors actually going out and copying me than how many there were when I first began to sell this product, which has been over a year, by the way. But again, that's what happens when you go out and you just start copying people who are successful. These people decided to copy my brand, copy my products, and obviously, you know, they're always gonna be second, third, fourth, or fifth. I'm always gonna be first. That's why you always gotta make sure you're the first one really coming out with the product, trying to sell that product, because again, this is exactly what starts to happen. But as you can see right now, this specific product right here, pretty much the same exact product, what I'm selling this one as well. And just as you continue further, you see more and more. So I already see three products, four, but overall just very similar looking product. Again, but when I, I was advertising this product, which was in 2021 mostly, this product was not that saturated. But still, even during that time, there were a decent number of competitors because obviously this is a dog related product, pet niche. There are gonna be people who go on eBay and try to source similar products. So now before we get into the nitty gritty details of how I made this product a big big winning product let's kind of start off with the basics how did I even find this product did I just somehow from the sky see this product drop down on the ground or did it drop right in my lap not exactly but I definitely did have a little bit of luck involved in this because when I was doing research which by the way is mostly conducted through eBay again even with my real e-commerce brands that I handle which are real big brands I'm when I'm trying to source different products from suppliers I tend to look at eBay first Amazon first so just to get a general idea of what's wanted out there in the market, what's selling and so on and so forth. So just kind of looking through eBay and Amazon, I, I basically came across that product while looking at the daily deal section. I don't really remember if it was on Amazon daily deals or eBay daily deals, but I was just scrolling through when that dog deterrent product came on my screen. And if we now do an eBay search for that product, we can see that coming up. So let's go ahead and change up the text a little bit just to see if something else comes up because sometimes if you write the wrong thing, nothing comes up. So just doing a quick eBay search, we can see that that product is coming up. So during that time, this is exactly what I saw. And I thought that this product was just a bit cool. I mean, I had never seen this product in Walmart, Target, or anywhere where I go shopping. So this was definitely a unique product to me. And when I clicked on the advertisements, specifically with the ad listings on eBay, Amazon, I noticed there were a bunch of different images, which of course is the number one thing you should be looking at with shopping ads, by the way. But essentially this is what I saw. And then this is when my real product research, keyword research strategy began. And again, I'm not gonna go into too detail with the keyword research, product research in this video, because I've already made a bunch of videos on that. But just kind of 
a brief overview, a strategic overview, I'm always trying to understand what the selling price of that product is, number one. Number two, if the suppliers have any good images. Number three, how many competitors there are. And number four, if there is anything I can do with this product alone, that can kind of help me stand out. And with this saturated product, by the way, it was even more important for me to find ways to stand out of the crowd. Now, my main image is this one right here with the dog on the right side. So the main reason why I chose that image during that time period, at least, is because I saw a lot of images during that time from my competitors, which were very similar to this image right here. So they either were this fake looking background image style the product images, or they were just with the dog on one side and mostly it was on the left side. So as you can see, this dog is also on the left side. This one is on the left side as well. And by the way, this is gonna make a huge difference in what I'm about to tell you. So as I was just looking at my competitors, and by the way, I really like to look at my top five, the top 10 competitors. So these one right here, but during that time, that's essentially all I was really noticing. Those competitors showing up with product images very, very similar to these, either on white backgrounds or these fake looking lifestyle images. So I knew that right from the beginning, I had to find an image which would help me stand out of the crowd. And, and what better image than this one right here where the dog is actually on the right side. Now, you may look at this and think that is definitely not the reason why I was able to sell this product and do roughly, as you can see right here with the product on my screen, a 6.62x ROAS. So for this product specifically, I spent about $356 within this campaign only. And again, I was trying to scale it through other methods as well, but overall, if we go on over to our analytics for this brand right here, this is the brand which has done over $2.5 million in the last two years alone. And with the refunds, it came down to 1.7. But if we go right here to reports, and then now if we kind of change this reporting up to look at the total sales, we can see exactly where that product is. So just taking a quick look at the product, and let me just go ahead and search for it really quick, we can see exactly where it is. So that specific variation alone was able to do roughly $3,702.99. But keep in mind, this is just one variation. There were multiple variations of that product which resulted in over five figures in total sales. But again, the success of this product really started with just the overall product image that I was using. Then it came time to decide the next most important factor, which is the pricing. Now, came up with that pricing and it's the same thing I do for all the other products is, I like to be right in the middle and be the average rather than be the most expensive. So right now, these individuals are selling it for $50, but during that time, the average pricing was $30 all the way up to $50. One thing I knew was that selling it for $30, $35 would not yield me the right number of, the exact number of profit that I really wanted. So it was better off that I did it for about $40, $45, hence why I priced it at $44.95. So that kind of got me covered in terms of the pricing. I had to make sure that my pricing was very competitive. But just now going back to the ads, actually, we can see this only spent $30, $356. And then the other variations right here spend much, much more. But overall, the ROAS was at a high level. And this was only, again, possible because I started with the images, then the pricing. But we're not done there yet because after all of those things were done, it was time to actually create a very search engine optimized title and a very search engine optimized description because a lot of people don't realize just how important the right title is and the right description is. So in terms of the title, I didn't really pay attention to what my competitors were doing because my main goal was to go onto the keyword planner tool and from there, figure out what the right title for this product would be. Again, it's just a matter of doing proper keyword research, which I'm really not gonna go too deep into. But once that was done, then it was just a matter of creating the landing page, making sure it's added to my website the right way. And when I say the right way, I mean ensuring that the landing page is fast, meaning the speed is less than three seconds. All of the things on the landing page, very accessible, very easy to see, and kind of click around because again, that's one of the major issues a lot of e-commerce owners have. Their landing pages are not accessible and as a result, they end up not really being able to do anything in terms of attracting the right audience member. And that's, by the way, where you stand out when you have a saturated product. I'm not really saying that you can't sell saturated products. They still sell very well 
but you need to have more things right along with having the right kind of ad strategy, having the right ad copies, the images and all of that good stuff. But basically once all of those things were done, it was simply a matter of just starting the campaign. So I already had different testing campaigns running as you can see right here on my screen. This was the time period when this product really started to sell. So 2020, late 2020, all the way into 2021, if we look it started to sell in third quarter of 2020. So essentially changing the time period now from just all of this time period to basically November of 2020, because that's essentially when it started to sell. And then maybe around April 30th is when it could have possibly stopped to sell. But we can see during that time, the ROAS was about a 5.85X. But one thing I want you to keep in mind is if we go back further into the time period, we can see this product had actually started to get some impression, some ad spend, from the early month of November, from the early period of November. But it really started to sell well, basically January is when it starts to sell well. So November, all of November, it didn't do anything. December, it didn't do anything. It was there for two months within this testing campaign. And that's one thing you wanna keep in mind. A lot of e-commerce store owners using Google ads expect sales way too quickly. That's not essentially how it works. With this specific variation right here at least, which was the one of the first winning variations and the first selling variations it took a whole two months with the product staying inside the campaign and by the way the search volume for this product is very consistent but even then I had to wait about two months and that's because when you have other products within a testing campaign and when your budget it's not too extreme so if it's $50 a day $70 a day maybe even $100 a day depending on how many items you have within that campaign the overall results take a bit of extra time to really start coming in but you have to be patient because the google's algorithm if it detects that there is heavy search demand and if you have done everything right the algorithm will start to push your ad more often and that's how the ad spend increases i didn't do anything differently to suddenly start spending money on this product it just was something done from google's end so this is also one reason why segmentation of your campaigns is so important not only in different phases so testing phase profitability phase and scaling phase but also within the actual niches or some other way that you can segment things out because again if you don't properly segment and if you have 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 products, your winning products within that campaign will stay unheard of and basically not spend anything until some other product kind of gets excluded and then there's room now for Google to spend money on this product. So that's essentially why segmentation is so important. But once things were kind of rolling with this product, as you can see, ad spend starts to increase very, very quickly. I mean, within that time period of just first month of January and then February, things started to increase before again, because of the overall saturation, it started to go back down. But by that time, I was already scaling this variation and others inside their own separate campaign. So hence why it started to kind of drop down here. But looking at the overall ROAS, looking at the conversion value, we can see this product was bringing in $100, $200 and more per day. And again, it's only inside this one campaign. There's other campaigns for this product, which I'm not showing right now, but kind of showcase the entire scale of this product, which when they started to scale, this campaign sort of started started to die down and then if we look from September 1st 2020 all the way to basically March April maybe even end of May we can see what happened to this product within this campaign so that's essentially what happened with this product itself even though it was a full unsaturated product taking everything step by step from the original product image to the title to then the SEO techniques to then landing pages making sure everything is right by the way this is something that I do for all of my products with all my e-commerce brands and also all of my clients e-commerce brands under my Google Ads agency your marketing which if you're currently doing thirty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen but that's essentially how i was able to scale this product from basically not being a full unsaturated product to then actually bringing in a 6x roas and above consistently but Again, if you found any type of value in this video, make sure to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and watch these two videos right in front of my face, which can help you with your Google Ads journey and I will see you in my next video.